Hello and welcome back to the podcast. We are back in the studio. Finally, we are so happy to be back. We're also back in the studio and, you know, we started off last episode saying new season, new us, all this stuff. And I got to be honest with you guys, we are back on our bullshit. We are filming 10 p.m., prepping. We just... We're not prepared. Um, I think, though, we can blame the lasting effects that last weekend or the weekend before, I guess, took a toll on us. I have um, not been the same since. I agree with that. I could have used another B12 in the ass, like, I think today. I, I think however many you're able to take, like, if it's a once per daily thing you can do. Like, we needed that. That's something I've needed the last nine days. I agree. We specifically know it's been nine days um, since the day that we really took (laughs) a hit on our bodies. And we'll discuss that a little more in the bonus content on Patreon. That we will. Um, But let's recap a little bit of our last day at Lala, which we only made it to one show. But I think... I'm okay with that because it was I amazing. As well. um, it was perfect. We saw Miss Lana Del Rey. An angel. It was literally, I think, unexpected because I've never seen her perform. I feel like she doesn't perform that often. She really doesn't. I, I can't remember the last time she was here in Michigan and we had the opportunity to see her. If I had to bet, if I had to put money on it, I would say maybe 2016 she was here last. It's so specific. It just feels like that's the last time life was like good. <laughs> oh my God, that's <laughs> honestly tragic. Um, You're just feeling the vibes on that one. Okay, yeah. well, speaking of, I have to bring this up because I don't know if you've seen this, but Lana, you know, like all these little scandals that have been going on, which we will get into. That I do. But supposedly in the year that we shall not name, 2020, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, she posted like when everything was going on she posted a post on instagram Mm -hmm. and it was a lot of words so i won't read it but it started out by calling out other female artists by name oh perfect and now people are saying that lana could be a psychic because in the order that lana wrote their names Mm -hmm. in her post in 2020 they have all gotten into scandals one after the other in the past month. Let's hear it. So starting off, she named Doja Cat, which we obviously know she's been like turning on her fans, saying she doesn't want fans. Yeah. And she has lost over half a million followers on Instagram in the last month. You get what you ask for. If you say, I don't want fans, bye-bye, go the fans. Yeah, I. that's such a weird scenario, but people are speculating that maybe that has a deeper meaning. Maybe she's trying to get out of a contract or something. Mm. But so we had that one. First, Doja Cat. Then she names Ariana Grande, which we mm. all know she's with SpongeBob now. Home wrecked SpongeBob's marriage. It's super unfortunate. <laughs> then she names Camila Cabello, which supposedly, I didn't even really know about this one, but the internet does what the internet does. And supposedly mm. she has gotten into like some hot water because she started dating Rosalia's ex, but it was only like 30 days in between the split and the new relationship. The gray area. The gray area, as, mm. they, as they call it. And so people are like, hey, It could have been a little 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 crossover there. What's going on? Then Lana named Cardi B. Mm. We all know had a fan, or I guess not fan, a hater, (laughs) throw a drink on Mm. her while she was performing. And then Cardi B just said, okay, and threw her mic at her. Um, Which honestly- get what you get. Yeah, that one could be illegal. But a lot of these- um, were unexpected, I would say. Very, I would say so. Very unexpected. Did, and Lana supposedly had a feeling. Did she happen to name Lizzo on there as well? No. But if she mm. would have, I would have been actually really alarmed. Like mm-hmm. I would have been fully convinced for Halloween we had to get Lana to come do our psychic reading. That would be incredible. Uh, I don't know. I if she, still like, want that. I mean, that'd be just that'd be a dream. But I don't think. I don't know if it's like a thing that she admits 
that, oh, I have psychic bill. I think people are just putting that on her. I mean, but her performance was pretty mi- mystical, very angelic. Yeah, whimsical. Yes, so I could see it. <laughs> well, also then, if, if that's the case and this is all true, then Kalani, Nicki Minaj, and Beyonce need to... Watch their backs because according to Lana, they're next on her list of scandals. Yeah. Um, and speaking of scandals and Lala, we have to, you know, address this because supposedly this happened, which was news to me. Mm. Um, me as but well. Apparently, me and Evan are splitting up. It's crazy what the news. Audible shock. Do. You know what though. I think it's so funny to have something like that written about you. And then like everything I've read, even those like scandals, I'm like sitting there being like, this could totally just not be true. Because Taken out of context. What was written about me and Evan was, I mean, I guess I would say is it was totally spun to into a story. Basically, I don't know if any of you guys have seen, but we literally had like people being like, are you guys okay? Like, yeah. Is everything good? Sorry we weren't tonguing each other at the club. <laughs> like, sorry. I don't know what people want, but basically an article is written saying that we're splitting up mm-hmm. because we were not by each other and we were with our respective friends <gasps> at the club. No. And it was so funny because looking back, like some of the stuff that was written was true. Like me and you were absolutely unwell like just so exhausted we were tired we were, yeah we were not hung over by the way I think I had drank an only diet coke that day so like yeah I was totally not I was just so exhausted but I wanted to pull through for our friends who wanted to go out so we went and we were there I mean like physically we were there mentally we were half way there no mentally i was like yeah it was hands up in the air partying actually externally i probably didn't look too cute i probably looked angry opposite it was kind of like the opposite (laughs) of the saying it's like mentally we were there but physically if you looked at us from the outside we probably didn't look we there. Were in it in our heads, though. In our heads, yeah. we, we were having a great time. There was time. a rave in our head. We were having a rager in there. But on the outside, we weren't doing much. Mm-mm. Yeah, so then supposedly this article gets written that we're splitting up. And then, like, I'm pretty sure even Mojo in the morning was talking about it. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, it was lit. Like, I guess I get it. But at the same time, what did the people want? Us making up? The well, and here's like, the thing, too. You two are not ones for PDA. Ever. Yeah, I just. So sorry, it wasn't I, like it was one extreme to another. I remember when we went to the Justin Bieber concert, Evan, like, put his arm around you. And he was like, I put my arm around her in person. <laughs> like, he was so proud. Yeah, I, I feel like even when we got engaged, it was like. We kissed in the moment, and then it was like, okay. <laughs> Ew, like people saw people that. People saw us do that. Actually, you're right. I feel like that was the first time I may have ever seen y'all kiss. Like, I feel like everyone's so dramatic about it. Like, I remember my sister be like, oh my God, you guys kiss? Like, yes. I've never seen you kiss. Because you two are just very, like, I private feel, people when it comes to PDA, which is totally fine. I just don't... I. I have nothing to prove. Right. Like, so we like each other. Clearly you do to some people. This yeah. is not okay. Yeah, apparently. Y'all are splitting the um, fuck up. Apparently. So that's what's been going on over the break. We were just splitting up. The drama. Um, but no, I feel like we also just miss so much, specifically with music, actually, because so many mm-hmm. people are touring right Everyone's now. Everyone's on tour. Like, what's going on? It's just the thing to do right now? Yeah, it's summer. Yeah, I guess what you're right. What are you going to do? Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, we talked a lot about the Eras tour, and we have to bring mm-hmm. this up because we missed that one. Well, we missed a few things with it, but one being more recently, actually, mm-hmm. that Carly Kloss went but bought her own tickets, and then people were like, was this a PR stunt for she wanted to try to prove that they They're, don't have beef anymore? Right. And they're good. So she wanted to be like, oh, I'm at the thing. But it almost made it worse because she wasn't in like the Taylor's friends area, like the friends and family yeah, area. Yeah, people are really having a field day with it, which I understand. The jokes are fun. But for everyone that's like, oh, she waited in the queue with all of us or paid an outrageous amount for like a ticket herself. Like, you don't think that she had an assistant or someone do that <laughs> for her. I'm sorry. 
Yeah. Let the jokes be jokes, but she didn't do that herself. It still is kind of just like, what were you trying to do? And then people even were more bothered, I think, by it because she was trying so hard to show that she was there, that she on the friendship bracelets that everyone exchanges put her, name. put her own name so like people would go home and be like carly was there <laughs> i can like, prove it it's like i mean come on if you're gonna do that at least like do a better one and then people would have Make still naturally clever. said like oh carly gave, Kloss gave me this yeah fun inside joke bracelet so funny but i guess I guess it's not funny because people who go to raves supposedly have their own version of oh friendship my bracelets. Gosh. Candy. Candy. And so on TikTok, I saw like all these people being so upset, like the Swifties stole candy and changed the name. No, they didn't. Bra- okay, candy may have been around. I'm, I'm on one today, I swear. <laughs> I'm just annoyed. Um, Candy obviously been around for raves for... As long as time. Whenever the first rave be rhythm dropped. However, <laughs> did you not have like friendship breaking, like bracelet making kits when you were five years old? Like, it's fine. Let people have their friendship bracelets and you don't need to gatekeep your candy. And I don't think it's very rave of you to be trying to exclude others from the fun. Yeah, I I mean, a lot of people also were defending it, being like, who cares? Like, if people want to use that, like, let them do it. It's like a community thing. It's right. supposed to be inclusive. Like, who cares if people are doing it? Yeah, I thought it was kind of funny, though. Um, Do you remember, though, that just reminded me, specifically every time we went on an airplane when we were younger, we would make those bracelets that you, like, tied together that were, like... Not the rubber band ones, mm-hmm, although mm-hmm. those were a thing I, as yes, well. Yes, they were. But I'm talking about the ones where you like interlapped the. <gasps> yes, I know exactly what you're cords. talking about. It was mm-hmm. kind of like little plastic cords, and yes. you like intertwine. I them. didn't know how to make them into bracelets. I could only make keychains with them. Do you know what I mean? Because yes. they would have that little clasp at the end of them, and then you would like almost weave I think them. You could tie them together. Yes, you could tie them together. I didn't know how. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, I specifically remember every time we went on airplanes, we would be like, Let's it was a make fun the activity. Bracelets. Yeah, people have been making bracelets for as long as anyone can remember. It's I'm not just, just a specific thing to <sighs> concert. I do think it's a cool idea, though. You, When you went to the thing, didn't you trade bracelets? I did trade bracelets. I didn't make as many as I wanted to. I made a few. A few girls in line. Just, what did yours say? Mine were all like, fearless detroit (laughs) version eras tour best day ever and they were all i went as like fearless was like the album that i was trying to embody yes it was very last minute of me um so those were all my bracelets and then i made a few that i traded um and some girls just gave me theirs in line and i got some good ones like i got one that said john mayer sucks (laughs) and i other people wanted to trade with me and I was like, I, w- I really want to keep this one though. But the cutest thing happened when I was in my seat and I was, I had so much fun at the Eras tour. I started to get a little bit of anxiety and have almost like an anxiety attack when I was in the concourse because there was just so, so many, many people. people and it was just like so much hype around having the best time ever. My mom calmed me down. <laughs> I was in my seat and I just got this little tap on the shoulder from like this little girl. Like she was probably like four or five years old. And she was like, do you want to trade friendship bracelets? And like, they were all way too big for her wrist. Oh and my like, gosh. she traded with me and I just started like crying. I Like tears of like happiness. Like it was the cutest thing ever. Like it that made so my cute. night. And then I was calm for the rest of the tour until reputation came on. And I said, let's fucking go. Like, I don't know what came over me. Will I go again on the second leg of the US tour? Maybe, maybe not. That's crazy. Give the people who didn't get a go an opportunity. I will. People. Um, <laughs> I'm just salty because I didn't go. Um, also, I, I guess I have other opportunities since so many people are on tour. And they're also kind of trying to emulate the Taylor Swift type a little bit here. Brittany, I have more opinions. Brittany, will, so Brittany will rant about that too, but the Jonas Brothers are touring. Mm. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. I considered I considered it for a minute to mm. go. Because mm. I was also like- When are they coming Jonas here? Brothers. 
Do we know? I have no soon? idea. I saw them the last time they were here. I just have some questions. The first of which being, <laughs> was their five albums one night decided before or after Taylor announcing her heirs tour? And that's my only question that I will pose at this time. Continue. Thank, thank you for your yeah. question. Um, and we will be waiting for answers. However, in the meantime, I also would like to know, what is the meaning of Jimmy Fallon coming out and performing Mr. Brightside? Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, Taylor is like the queen of special guests at her shows. We all saw the 1989 world tour where she brought out special guests every night. They have now had their security guard and Jimmy Fallon. So I don't really know what they're trying to concoct over there. I feel like the there. security guard thing though, maybe. That was hype. Yeah. If he's not there every night, that's a shame because <laughs> I would lose it if I saw him. But the Jimmy Fallon thing is so like random. It's so. But also what was really random, which I, I guess was unexpected. Um, I saw some TikToks like Joe... Joe Jonas was like hammered on stage trying to perform and it was just like not that Is that good, or? from the new tour? I think. I mean, I just saw it. So I'm assuming yeah, it is. Yeah, it has to be. It would have been even more random if it wasn't. But He I feel, stays clowning. Yeah. I feel like it's so funny because do you remember? I feel like I saw him when he was with, I I swear to yes, God. Um, D- dnce he was opening for selena gomez we were both at the show same section not together and we saw each other yeah yes my mom touched joe jonas's arm he ran up (laughs) and we were on the aisle and she thought it was the coolest thing ever she was like it was sweaty oh my god i swear (laughs) your mom's a fan girl your mom's a jonas bro of course she is um no that's so funny yeah i didn't know if it was like a recent thing but i I feel like everything they've been kind of doing is like kind of getting some traction. Yeah, they they go pretty viral on TikTok, yeah. I would say. They lean into a lot of jokes, which I think the TikTok yeah. community enjoys. Um, yeah. But Drake just went viral for something he did on tour as well. Mm. Um, apparently, he was trying to fight an audience member. Good did you him. see that? Yeah, get after it. He was going to fight some guy because... He gave his towel that he wiped himself with to, like, a girl (laughs) fan. And some guy tried to take it from her. Yeah, which, like, F off, man. Yeah. That was not for you. I feel like that's just what goes on when you give stuff to the audience. So, like, you got to be careful with that. People kind of, like, go go a bit wild. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, he was, like, trying to fight them. And the security were, like, what's going on? He's like, I will send someone up there for you. And I was like, good for him. Send somebody up. Yeah. Well, also, he kind of went viral because Bobby went Mm, to his show. Yes. I feel like she has just absolutely blown up in the time that we've been gone. I (laughs) know. She's taken the world by storm. Honestly, though, it is really funny. I kind of wish that we would have thought of that because it's just like in your natural instinct to be awkward absolutely not just yours like mine as well yes we are so awkward by nature if i thought that that was an option i probably would have have really leaned into it like i just it's so genius it is because you don't have to be nervous because if you don't have a question you can just say something so like absurd and funny yeah like all your intrusive thoughts yes all your intrusive thoughts i'm quite jealous of that me too it's so genius um yeah i would i would let bobby interview me just putting that out there oh oh is that yeah i feel like it'd be so funny because it would be hilarious i also wouldn't be nervous it'd be like my first interview and like if she's gonna say something like random, that then would I don't be feel sick. as nervous. That would be, and sick. I could give like an awkward answer back. Yeah, it you would be your dream come true. Honestly, it, it's a dream come true. Um, so I hope she's it, listening. Putting that into the universe. Today's episode is sponsored by Seed. Gut health is a trending and important topic in today's world as new discoveries in the field continue to help us make the healthiest choices so our bodies can be happy and healthy. You have definitely heard us talk about Seed's DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic on the podcast before. It's a plant-based prebiotic and probiotic with 53.6 billion AFU and 24 strains that have been clinically and scientifically studied for its benefits, with no binders or preservatives and free from 14 classes of allergens. That's why I love Seed. Just two capsules once a day will go to work to promote digestive health, skin health, and heart health, as the strains in the DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic are specifically geared to these benefits. 
Seed delivers the DSO One Daily Symbiotic right to your door monthly to make keeping your healthy habit convenient and easy. Start a new healthy habit today. Visit seed.com slash shady and use code shady to redeem 30% off your first month of Seed's DSO One Daily Symbiotic. That's seed.com slash shady and use code shady. Thank you to Seed for sponsoring today's episode. Also, we, we need to circle back, though. Wait, why? Because... Back Ariana, to the Jonas Brothers? No, back to Ariana Grande oh, and her okay. scandal. Because I, first of all, I never thought I'd be saying Ariana Grande is fucking SpongeBob. Like, <laughs> I just don't feel right. I mean, they are both from Nickelodeon. I guess. It's still not right. <laughs> It just was something I just would have never seen coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm not okay with it. Okay. Tell me more. Um, and now, apparently Alta's not okay with it. So they're taking a stand. They didn't do it yet. But supposedly Alta is considering removing her REM beauty line because they, like, don't want to be involved. They're in the thinking scandal. about taking a stand. Yeah, they haven't done it yet. But what are they selling? Chocolates. I can't. Not I can't. Do it. <laughs> not, <laughs> that's incredible. Seriously. Um. So yeah, that's not gonna end well. I'm just a little confused about the whole thing. Um. I really just. I just. I would have never seen her getting divorced. I guess. Ariana Grande. Yeah. Yeah, because she said she only wanted to do it once, yeah. real bad. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a direct quote. It, she directly said that to millions of people multiple times. Yeah. I don't know. I like in a sense, I feel bad. But then it's like, don't wreak havoc on other relationships. Yeah, it's been a lot. It's been a bit of a pattern. That's what the people are saying. And you have to break a pattern in order yeah. to move forward with life. That's also something that somebody's probably said once i think i think it's like the definition of insanity Mm. is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results yeah that's beautiful that's tough um but we didn't come up with it Mm -mm. speaking of not coming up with stuff of Mm -hmm. our own (gasps) don don the shade um poor girl apparently so it's been kind of known that olivia rodrigo puts out music Mm-hmm. And sometimes it sounds like other music. Yes. And it did get her in trouble in the past. Yes. She won't be attending the Eras tour because of it. Maybe. But it's <laughs> so far proven to be true. Um, but now they're saying her new song sounds like one of, and honestly, this made me so nostalgic. I started looking up. I just went down a rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. But supposedly her new song sounds like the shoes. Oh, my God, shoes. And it kind of looks like the video as well. It does. I feel like we need to insert it because For it those is, who may not know. They, like, zoom in on the lips at the same time. And it's, like, the same, like, drop of. It was a video before its time. Like, it was way ahead of its time. You know, that's the same person that did the muffins video. Yes, a creative genius. And I just really miss those kind of videos. I do as well. I feel like we don't get those really anymore. No, we, we we've brought a different type of energy to TikTok. Um yeah. I don't I don't know how to like summarize that energy, but it's different. It's not the same that YouTube once was like Charlie the Unicorn. Do you remember him? Like so much creative work, I feel, yes. went into the old videos like that. Yes, they were true productions. Yes, like a full-blown production team worked mm-hmm. on Charlie the Unicorn. It, it had to have been. Um, But yeah, and apparently people think she might have copied that. I feel like it sucks for her because now that the Taylor Swift thing happened and people are like thinking she copies music... It's not going to stop. It's yeah, going to be every song. Every people, song are gonna people are going to nitpick her. For like I feel kind of bad because I love her. Same. And it's just going to continue happening. Someone compared another one of her songs to um, Miley's song, See oh, You Again. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. Um, the last uh-huh. time I freaked out. Yes. I just, is that, did they compare Vampire to that? 
I think so. I love vampire. And that's the thing, like, if they don't care, I don't care. Because, like, I still like the song. They're bops. Exactly. She's, like, she gives us, and I saw this on TikTok, so I didn't come up with this on my own either. <laughs> um, Like, 2000s bops. Somebody specifically on TikTok was, like, these are the songs people would be, what movie was it? Uh, Confessions of a de- Teenage Drama Queen, like, these are the songs people would be running around to in that movie. And the I, soundtracks yes. to two thousands movies. Yes. Yeah. I'm a fan. And I don't if if she if she doesn't get in trouble for it, I don't care. Yeah. Even if she does get in trouble. <laughs> We're still gonna listen. <laughs> I'm still gonna listen and I'm still gonna try to see her in concert when she comes back. No. Yeah, we did you saw her. Yeah, oh yes, I did. Good for you. It was a time. See what I did there? Mm. Mm, mm. Um, hilarious okay i wanted to bring up something random so random because last night Mm -hmm. honestly i didn't ask for this but Brittany just decided to send me a screenshot of her notes with her ix Mm -hmm. listed out which i didn't ask for so i'm not really sure and then i was really wondering like why do you keep a list of your own ics? I was honest with my answer, so I don't forget. But they're your ics. How could you forget? Because some of them are really niche. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you some of mine. And then I'll share mine with the class. I'm Yours not Yours are like so specific, I feel, and mine are like not specific. And I kind of came up with them like at the last second because I wanted to have some. See, this is why I have the list. But, your list would be longer and more niche like if you too ma- kept a list. What makes an ick an Ick, is that it doesn't like happen that often it is such a specific moment in time that you can't really recapture when the ick hits you that's why i have to write it down so i don't lose sight of that moment and if that <laughs> moment in time ever reoccurs you know that you're icked yeah okay well i um, i'm just gonna share mine mm-hmm. let's hear when people are walking and then they have to do like a light jog to get out of the way. I can't. <laughs> like, just, it's okay. Just walk. Like, the person's not actually going to hit you. Right. But I do it too. <laughs> <laughs> when people shape. This one got me <laughs> when I saw it. <laughs> when people shape their mouth like a butthole to put on chapstick. <laughs> That's just like. Like, you know I what I'm talking about. It, yes. Like, when it's, it's like. No, it's like, it's like not. I hope and that then it's mostly, zooms in on your lips. It's mostly that. like, I feel like guys, a lot of guys do it. Oh my gosh, they do. And then they like hold the chapstick really yes, weird. Yes, like, like they don't. Like a crayon. Yeah, like a kindergartner colors with their yeah, crayons. It's like, no one taught them how to put on chapstick appropriately. <laughs> that's sad. Um, But yeah, that's an ick for me. And I think this is going to be my last one. Oh, okay. When people <laughs> visibly chew gum. Like, if I can tell you have a piece of gum in your mouth. Like a horse? No, just at all. If mm-hmm. I can tell you have one, just from looking at you, you're chewing it too much. It's too much. Yeah, it's not the point of gum. It's an ick. <laughs> you're going to be floored by mine because I didn't even send you, like, that was half what you saw yesterday. I'm scared. Some of these were already previously on my TikTok, but... I will rapid fire through these. These are my icks. They are my icks. I understand that some of them may not be categorized as your ick or what you consider to be an ick. So here we go. When people post to social media and say, social media, do your thing, because they want to get someone in trouble or something, like, calm down. Um, When people say, don't walk, run to, I don't like that. I'm not running anywhere. Like, don't walk, run to Target. Like, it's it's an expression. I don't like it. They don't um, mean literally. I understand. <laughs> yeah, I'm not running. <laughs> when people say, this is another one on that same note. When people say, stop scrolling. Anytime I've ever heard that, I've immediately scrolled. Um, when people do add a vil- video and add no value to it. Like, it'll be an informational video on one side. And somebody will just be like, pointing at it and like, feeling it in their soul. I see a lot of those, but I fall for them. I don't. I will... And this is in, in the notes of my ick. Um, I will go to the original video. I'll like the informational original video, whether like I fully like l- would have liked that video if I saw it on my own or not. So you're just and petty. then go back. Yeah, 
Because I'm like, that person should be getting the credit for this, not the person that just thought they'd do it and be like, oh. Remind me to bring up another thing you're super petty about okay. after this. I'm petty about a lot of things, so this should be fun. Um, when people say, oh, this one, hi, I'm a 2024 bride, like they're graduating school or something, don't like it. That's on bride talk, um, which I sometimes am I. Um, when people, oh, this one, I feel like you would agree with this one. When people are walking somewhere and someone's walking towards you and you say like, hi, and they respond with a, how are you? Or some kind of question that clearly nobody has time to answer. Cause you're both still walking. I feel like you're not listing X. You're listing. Like I prefaced with that. Pet heaves. Cause I agree. Like that shit pisses me off. But at the same time, it's not. This one's a little more okay, icky. Okay. When people think that the topic of like pineapple on the pizza, like pineapple on pizza is funny or groundbreaking conversation, just like when people are like, is a hot dog a sandwich? They think it's like so funny to talk about. Don't like it. Again, I would say that's a pet peeve. In the moment, if you're looking for a topic of conversation, but what and if somebody like the guy says, you liked? It's got to be like the thought it moment, was like hilarious. It's got to be that specific moment that the person brings up the topic. That's the ick. Well, then these ones won't count at all. The song Mr. Brightside and Sweet Carolina. No, an ick has got to be something somebody, an action somebody does. The name Benjamin. <laughs> not an ick. It's not. When people refer to your thong as a whale tail. Um, it's specifically i've only heard once from your mother um dixie highway especially when mentioned on the radio don't like it um when people don't understand my use of the word drama Brittany, the term kitty corner <laughs> stores that only sell light fixtures and finally People dressing up as the Disney Channel games for the Jonas Brothers tour. Oh, and I thought of another one. Go ahead. Specifically, the workers I encountered at Jimmy John's today. No, so that was gonna what I was going to bring up. Okay. First of all, let's talk to, about it because... I need to re, re-say this, though. An ick is an action that one does in a moment of, in time that makes you go like, ugh. Like, so if somebody not. takes a sip of Coke and goes like, ah every time that's an ick that was a personal attack on me but do you do that every time sometimes okay but i mean like if that's like part of their personality that's an ick. it's a like part the, of my shtick it's got to be an action so not one perform a store that only sells light fixtures Correct. like that is <laughs> not just, the name benjamin that is just suspicious no but what did you want to say about my jimmy oh, Johnson encounter how I was petty you pissed. are no. i am literally the pettiest person but i I've know. realized you were petty before and i can't remember the specific instance but something happened and you wrote a fucking yelp review and i was like you are a karen right now and but it takes a lot for me to get angry i don't know if that's true and so <laughs> today I didn't get our normal Chipotle order, Which so we could, fine. so we could. We went our separate ways with dinner, and so she's like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna stop and get food, like a sub." So she goes to uh, Jimmy John's, and they're like about to close in an hour. In an hour, though. I was there at five oh nine, and they close at six p.m. And I walked in, and I saw like the mop was out. And I walked in, I was almost confused. I thought that they were already, they were already closed. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, are y'all already closed? And they said, no, we close in 30 minutes. And then I was like, oh, okay, cool. Um, and then the guy proceeds to tell me, he's like, but since we close in 30 minutes, he's like, I'm not cutting any tomatoes for you. I'm not cutting any avocados for you. We're out of chicken. Like continues to like Go list on list all of these he's not going to do because they close in 30 minutes. And mind you, I'm like looking at my phone because it's 5 09. I'm like, what place closes at 5 40? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. But 50 also, 50 minutes, 50 minutes, and you're going to treat so if it was 10, man, I got you. I understand. Yeah. What it's like to be closing a little bit early, but an hour early, I'm sorry. Fuck off. I <laughs> hate you. I was just so It's angered. also like the worst thing too when it's a food place and you were like so excited about it and you get in there and they're like, we're closing. And you're like, in and out. Not yet. And it yeah. wasn't like a sit down restaurant. Like that actually is a pet peeve of mine. Not an ick. But when restaurants will do that or like, I don't know. I just feel like it's like the worst. Situ- like 
If you want to be closed at five, just close at five. Don't say six and then be closing at five and right. get pissed when people come in. Right. No. And I get it takes a while for like if you're in the service industry to like actually close because there's all these procedures you have to do. But a fucking hour, <laughs> fucking if you don't want to cut up the tomatoes for me, sir, give me the whole ass tomato. <laughs> I will cut it myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, I because like at that point, like you're just gonna they're gonna throw it out anyway, give it to you. It was um, frustrating because I was like, I was like, okay, because I was like leaving work and I like had my whole like plan of I was gonna go here, 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 and then be here to record. And it really threw me through a loop. Yeah, but I just know I just and the attitude he yeah, had. But, it was and then oh, this, this is, is what, what I did to leave. Uh-oh. I said, um, I said, oh well, then I'm sorry I bothered you, and then I like scurried out. That's crazy. That was not as groundbreaking as I thought it was going to be. I thought you were going to be like, fuck you and your tomatoes. I wish I would have <laughs> said that. I'm going to show up tomorrow with like pre-sliced tomatoes and be like, can I have a BLT? <laughs> and I brought my own sliced tomatoes. I'm, I swear they did not hear the last of me. But no, why I knew, why I said you're petty? Because this is the same situation. Like it was probably 30 minutes later and Brittany had already gotten a hey, different what did meal. I do after that? And you come inside and you're like. And I just want you to know, I found the place online to file a complaint, and I'm filing a complaint. I, I like, still haven't it's filed. It's still bothering you. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It's going to drive me nuts for, like, at least a week. And yeah. I was like, no, I was so mad when I was on the phone with you, too, after it happened. I was like, I will not be silenced on this <laughs> Calm down, Brittany, but not. Yeah. I'm still mad. Somebody will hear from me. All right, I thank swear. you. Um, moving on. I really wanted to talk about this because as a Disney fan, I feel like this probably hurts you to your core it of does. all this negative press going around about the Snow White <sighs> remake. And I don't know if any of you guys have been keeping up with it, but supposedly the actress who is playing Snow White mm-hmm. like actually hates Snow White. <laughs> And why to the movie, man? And I just that's don't. kind of, and that's kind of like the narrative I think that's going around. It's like so many people would have been so happy to play this character and so grateful. And then like you're just being like, it's not 1930 anymore. Like we don't need this character basically. Um, so we're remaking her into something she was never before. We're not even doing a Snow White movie, and but we're calling it Snow White. Like just make another anyway. movie. Honestly, it pissed me off so bad though because it was one of those things. Like, did we all collectively as a society mm-hmm. not just learn from Barbie? Like, women can want and be anything. You can't be like you can't shit on a woman for wanting love. Mm-hmm. Like that is not what Barbie taught us. Like. You can, you don't have to be extraordinary to exist. Like, you deserve to exist, whether you are extraordinary or ordinary. You just deserve to exist. Fucking Barbie just taught us so many lessons. She did. And I feel like this is, like, the opposite of what we all just learned. It is, and it really grinds my gears when women put other women down for liking feminine, feminine things like pink like blonde hair, like getting your nails done. Like just because you do all of those things does not make you not an empowered woman and not someone that can be a leader to like you can be both things at once and you don't need to put someone else down. Right. Because to, they do because both, they want to do both those things. Yes. Yeah. It just it has always bothered me and I just don't like it. And that's what I loved so much about the Barbie movie because I feel like it spoke to that message that that was like the entire message of yes. the movie, and it's like now I feel like this is, it's like ta- it's like trying to be that, but it's like taking it to an extreme side of like, well, if you are those original ideas, then you're all you don't deserve to like. Yes, and it's like that's not true. You can be you both, and like, it's sad because I've heard like, I don't know, so many like firsthand situations where like this is an actual real problem. That happens in society. Like I know this girl who with like all her might wanted to be a meteorologist, also blonde, also likes pink, being girly and had a girl in her class. And this has always stuck with me. Had a girl in her class basically told her that like she's everything wrong with like feminists and she's like the reason why like feminists will never like, I don't know when, like basically just like put her the fuck down. And I'm like, that is awful like that is why like why can't it's like the opposite of the message exactly yeah 
That is definitely, I mean, I hope with like all of the press that this is getting, the negative press, that they do kind of reel it in and maybe don't make it completely different than the original. Yeah, they have time to fix it. They have time. So hopefully they will kind of hear what people are Mm -hmm. saying and do it, but I guess we'll find out. A lot of people are saying that they just might not see it. And then people were going as far to be like, I'm not going to go see Hunger Games because the same actress is going to be in the new Hunger Games that's coming out, I think in November. Mm -hmm. So people are like taking as far to be like, I'm not going to go see that, which I will still go see that. I Um, will see both. I'm really excited about both. I really want to like both. I'm hoping because there's only been a couple interviews so far. I'm hoping there's a turnaround point. Even if it is like different i feel like it would have been one thing if it came out and it was different Mm -hmm. and like we were just like oh that's like that's a unique twist yeah but because it's being hammered as like if it was the original it'd be shit yeah that's what's pissing me off Screw original snow white like that makes me so sad um but hopefully it is still good in its own right Mm -hmm. um but that's pretty much it i mean we are both watching Mm -hmm. the summer i turned pretty finale comes out this week i think is it i cannot with this show like i i'm invested in it at this point so like i have to see it through but i really just can't like this main the main character i don't know if you guys are watching it but the way this girl flip flops it is like crazy it is like a Uh, shady story it is like a shady story and so i guess we won't ruin it then we won't ruin the summer i turned pretty if you haven't watched it watch it it's on amazon prime are you team i don't even think we've talked about this are you team conrad or team jeremiah jeremiah oh me too okay see because i feel like i feel like conrad is like the one that you think you You want want, but you don't really want it's not good for you no and then i feel like jeremiah was always so like attentive Mm -hmm. and actually would be good for her Mm -hmm. so i am team him however i'm not team her like she's pissing me off yeah (laughs) like but if you haven't watched it watch it it's on amazon prime um and the finale is about to come out, supposedly, according to Brittany. Um, we won't ruin it, I guess, then. But we'll say it is like this for Shady Story. Okay. So, Shady Story number one. Years ago, I was totally, pretty unreasonably into a guy, and it didn't go that well. But we still went out and made out a couple of times. Well, this guy has now been my brother-in-law for almost four years, And yes, it has been freaking awkward at family functions for a while, but now I'm pretty sure he knows he doesn't mean anything to me, and he hasn't for a much longer time than I've been with his brother. Many of my friends know, some of them which made a couple of light jokes at the beginning, but they've always made me feel at ease. My current boyfriend, who's literally the man of my life, didn't know at the time, but I told him straight after our first kiss because I didn't want to hide it from him. What I don't know is if his brother's girlfriend knows. And I'll probably never find out. The family drama. I know. In the beginning of this story, she said she was catching up on like our beginnings, how we talked about like. Oh, about how like story after story was. Family. like Family oriented. With, yes. Which I feel like this isn't too shady because she no. told him. Yes. Not shady. So like it makes it better, I think. And like. So it's like the friends know. So it's not like a total secret. Right. It's not that bad. Yes. It just seems like something that the group has collectively agreed to. Let it be a little awkward and it's like fine. Right. Because it's all out there. There's not too many secrets except for the brother's girlfriend. But like she could know. She She could know. But it honestly might be better for her if she just never knows. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I would want to know that. But this is very much the vibes of the summer I turned pretty. It, that it is. That so. it is. And for that, I will give it a six out of 10 because I love hearing all of your stories about kissing brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, I will say it's like a five out of 10. Cool. Shady story <laughs> number. <laughs> Shady story number two. Fuck, I haven't read one of these in a long time. I was hanging out with a friend at the mall during the school holidays and we got bored. So we decided to make a fake Tinder profile and catfish people for some fun to do. I'm pretty sure it's literally illegal, but whatever. Haha. 
We found a model in from an Instagram and just took some of her photos and we were randomly swiping left and right on men. We got to a guy who was 10 plus years older than we had advertised our person to be and he was bald so we decided to match with him because we thought it would be funny. We exchanged messages with this guy for a little while before he asked what car we drove. Neither of us know a thing about cars but we were catfishing as a minimum wage worker so the luxury brands that we do know wouldn't make sense as answers anyway. Anyway, we freaked out and Googled many middle-class car brands and Alfra Romo, Romo? Romeo was one of them. So we searched for Alfa Romeo car models. We let this guy, we left this guy in red for a few minutes just to select a random car from the list. And we told him that turns out the car that we picked was a vintage from the 1920s. And he called us straight out away. We called he called us straight out away. I don't know. He called us out for it straight away. Perfect. By this point, we knew we'd been lying, so we just blocked him and deleted the app out of embarrassment. How embarrassing. What was wild is like... They couldn't come up with <laughs> no, a like, no, middle-class no, no. car. No, that they were like... We matched with him because he was bald, <laughs> and we guy. thought it would be funny. It's like, terrible. Why and is that funny? Also, you're at the mall, <laughs> and of all things you decide to do, make a fake Tinder profile and catfish okay, people. but like... I feel like back in the day, catfishing was like such a like funny. I don't know. Like the show was like huge back then. Also, like imagine going to the mall with your friends and like messing with people. I feel like that was just a vibe. But like catfishing. Yeah, I don't know. It is a little illegal. It hurts people's feelings. If it was like a 10 minute thing. But like also. <laughs> I'm terrified for what's just about to like, come out of your mouth. I don't mouth. know. Just this whole situation. Like it's like a silly little prank. Like, just say a Toyota or something. <laughs> like That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I couldn't even pronounce whatever that car was, and they thought that that was a good idea. But, like, What maybe, was their major luxury brand? I don't know. Maybe they're not from the U.S. So, like, maybe oh, yeah, not. that could be it. But well, I don't no, know. if they're not from the U.S., they probably would have said mate. But they said with the mate? straight away. I feel like that's such a... Yeah, that could be it. That tripped me up away. as well. Um, straight away. Yeah, it did trip you up a little. I chimed in. <laughs> um, I would say this is like a six out of ten. Oh, I was gonna say a three for the catfishing. I wasn't that amused. Could have been a problem. <laughs> what I where it was I, illegal okay, activity. But where I first thought this story was going was like they were gonna try to catfish someone and like they were gonna actually be at the mall. Yes, and, like, I, I did think that a for a minute nervous. too. And then I was even thinking about the car. I'm like, maybe that'll be the car that like he's driving. I don't know where I thought it was. They going. like saw one in the parking lot. And it was yeah, theirs. I don't know. We're coming up with like a plot line for a new movie or something. You know, that'd be fun. Um. All right. Shady story number three. I was dating this guy from my hometown a few years after high school. Looking back, it was very meh, but it went on for about three years. It ended when I was over at his house making dinner and saw a Facebook message with a girl a year or so younger than me. I came by after work and grabbed all my stuff, including the pillow he was sleeping on, and didn't say a thing. But that's not even the shady part. A girl and I became best friends freshman year of high school, a year or so after the above relationship ended. She and I got an apartment together about an hour or so from our hometown. You know the saying that you shouldn't live with your friends? Well, it did not apply. It was wonderful living together, and we got along, and we never had issues. Fast forward to the month when we got our renewal, our rent renewal letter. I was at work and got a text message saying, did you see Blank's Facebook post? I took to Facebook, and my friend and roommate was at a baseball game and tagged my ex. I stood on this for a bit trying to think of what to even do, and then they changed their relationship status to in a relationship with a starting date five months prior. This means she had secretly been dating him for months while we were living together. We went into the office complex to sign the renew of our lease, and I told her then that I was moving out. It all worked out, though. A couple years later, I met the perfect man, and our wedding is scheduled for this fall. Their wedding is also scheduled for this fall. Well, I hope you have a much better wedding than they do. That is crazy. Sincerely. For five months, she's living with his ex. Yeah. Knowing it and not saying anything to her. Yeah, that's a little wild. And just expecting to renew the lease and, con- lease and continue to live together. Like at that point, if you knew 
you were in the wrong and with that girl's ex, wouldn't you be like, this has been fun. I think I'm going to live somewhere else. Like try to like get out of it. Like if you were at the point where you still were trying to keep it a secret, like, wouldn't you just leave? Like, yes, like that was your out to tell her. So like, just leave. That's pretty shady. It's pretty shady. Yeah. I would say I can't believe they're getting married. now. Yeah. I mean, they deserve each other. Mm. <laughs> we know nothing about them. Yeah. They deserve each other. <laughs> yeah, um, like, I hope your wedding's better. <laughs> I would say this is like an eight out of 10. Yeah, I agree. That, that concludes. Wow. I feel weird. Like I forgot how to end an episode. This is kind of weird. I know we haven't done a normal episode. It feels like it's been like a year. I know it like flew by, but at the same time it didn't. It didn't. Yeah. Yeah. But that concludes this week's episode continue writing in your shady stories because we got a new form which Mm -hmm. will be linked below and it will have the new way to submit your shady stories in there so keep submitting those and we will see you guys in the next episode bye everyone bye